yeah, I arrived about three days ago, so uh, I'm looking, I've been enjoying it so far, not too bad. The weather's a little bit different from where I'm from in Arizona, but um, it's manageable, so uh, we'll see how uh, the games go on moving forward. My second Olympic, uh, my second Commonwealth Games. Yeah, uh, so this uh, this is my second Commonwealth Games. Last year I was in Australia. Uh, it was pretty interesting because, you know, it was um, my first time being uh, with the other pe uh, people in the national team. Um, I didn't swim all the events I did that I'm going to be swimming here. I only swam two events last time. So this time I have uh, quite a bit. Uh, I'll be swimming the 50, 300, 300 fly and the two mixed relays. So I think that's something different compared to what I was doing uh, four years ago. So it would be good to be doing this together with my other teammates here who came with me. Uh, it's a completely different team, uh, not the same people who came here or any of them were here. None of them were there last time, so uh, it's going to be a little bit new and see. Uh, I mean, all these swimmers here have potential that made it to the team this year, so I'm excited to see uh, what we can all do together as a team. Um, so three weeks ago I was in Denmark. I was. Um, I decided, we decided to go there for like a training trip, uh, just, you know, just to see where we were at uh, with the games uh, and see what else needed to be changed or to be adjusted before we came to the games. Uh, I went with the fellow teammates I came with here, they, were, they joined me in Denmark and I feel like uh, everybody knew where uh, the expectations were at and I believe everyone was happy with the results or, you know, they could make a few adjustments and um, I feel like they're all here, they feel ready about it and we'll see how things play out as the game. Um, it was good, I'm feeling, I'm feeling good, a bit, a bit tired but like I'm going to rest in uh, the village and I'm going to be ready for Friday. Um, I mean this is just a learning experience um, but it's very exciting and um, yeah I'm really looking forward to it, um, to the crowd, to being with the team. Um, and just being in the village is, is great fun because you get to meet lots of people and talk to other sports, meet the whole Kenya team, so all the other sports in the Kenya team means a lot. Um, they've been good. I've been super busy. I've been training a lot, training really hard, focusing on um, swimming mostly this, uh, this whole summer. Um, and yeah, we went to Denmark for a competition for the Danish nationals and that was um, that was great. We didn't we weren't expecting to swim so well but um, we still did good and we had a good time and it was like team bonding so that was great and it was a cool experience. I've never been to Denmark um, and they were very welcoming. Okay so my first event is the 100 butterfly in the, mor in the morning on Friday and then after that it's the mixed relay, the 100 freestyle um, and I guess we're just going to have to see how, how hard our competition is because um, obviously there's a lot of countries here um, but I think we can do well. Uh, we're here, we're preparing very well. I'm happy, I'm happy to be here with the part of the Kenya team. I'm feeling good and uh, I'm ready to race. This is my first Commonwealth Games and this is a very big achievement for me. I've been training over the last 16 years and every day I'm learning more and more and this Commonwealth Games I think is going to boost my confidence and uh, is taking my swimming level to another level my swimming like to another level and I think I'm sure seeing a lot of uh, international swimmers and professional swimmers it uh, boosts your confidence and uh, inspires you to go higher and achieve more achieve bigger goals every day I think um, uh, to be here is also an achievement it's not very easy and uh, I think I rate myself uh, as an elite swimmer, professional swimmer, and I'm hopefully planning to make some, uh, some final swims, some semi-finals, which will uh, boost my confidence and uh, increase, uh, increase my potential to, to make it to Paris, hopefully. Uh, it was good. It, uh, we're getting closer, so we're ramping up the speed and uh, feeling good. I'm excited and ready to go. Uh, in Edmonton with uh, my home club, I uh, just finished the, my first collegiate season at SFU in Vancouver, so uh, I came home back to my age group coach and uh, we've been walking and preparing for this event since uh, nationals. Yeah, first time. Very, I'm uh, excited, you know, all the 
all the work I've put in, in uh, throughout the season, you know, it's coming to its 10 points combination. So it's exciting. I'm ready to see what, uh, what my work has led to. In terms of time, uh, you know, just going out there and getting the best time that I can ask for. Uh, I try not to think about time too much and uh, you just go in there, know that you put in the training and, you know, just hope.